Morning ladies and gentlemen, Birdie Warrior here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Well, happy Friday. Happy preparation day. Happy preparation day. I hope you guys took time out to study the word. Remember, we must study. And we know that it's later than we think. We are running out of time on this earth. We are running out of time. And we know Jesus is a gentleman and he keeps on knocking on the door of our hearts. And he said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And we know that is John 3, 16. And we're still going through uh, the ministry of healing. Still going through the ministry of healing. And it will be licensed law part two. That's what we're going to be covering. But before we go there, let us bow for prayer. The kind of gracious hand of Father, I thank you for this beautiful day, Father. I ask you right now, Father, that you will decrease me so that you will be increased is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, my sister, my brother. Scripture reading is coming from uh, 1 John chapter 5 verses 3 and 4 and it reads for this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith mm. may the Lord add a blessing to the reading hearing and the doing of his words Okay, so let us go into our topic today. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the last sentence from yesterday. And it says, The appetite of intoxicating drink, though subdued, is not wholly destroyed. And when tem temptation assails them, as it does on every hand, they too often fall an easy prey. Okay, here is part two. Let me see, where am I? Okay, the man who has a vicious beast and who knows its disposition, allow it liberty. It is by the law of the land held accountable for the evil that the beast may do. In the laws given to Israel, the Lord directed that when a beast known to be vicious caused the death of a human being, the life of the owner should pay the price of his carelessness. On the same principle, the government that licensed the liquor seller should be held responsible for the result of his traffic. And if it is a crime worthy of death to give liberty to a vicious beast, how much greater is the crime of this of the censuring the work of the liquor seller. Licenses are granted on the plea that they bring a revenue to the public treasury. But what is this revenue when compared with the enormous expense incurred from the criminals, the in sale, the pauper, that are the, the fruits of the liquor traffic? A man under the influence of liquor commits a crime. He is brought into court, and those who legalize the, the traffic are forced to deal with the result of their own work. They authorize the sale of a draft that would make a sane man mad, and now it is necessary for them to send the man to prison or to the gallows while often his wife and children are left destitute to become the charge of the community in which they live. Consider only the financial aspect of the question, what folly it is to tolerate such a business, or we could say what a foolishness it is to tolerate such a business, but what revenue can compensate for the loss of a human reason are for the defacing and the deforming of the image of God in man, for the ruin of children, reduced to pauperism and degener degeneration, to perpetuate in their children the evil tendency of their drunken father. So my sister, my brother, hey Mark, 
Thank you, my brother, for stopping by. Thank you. Hope you are having a awesome day. Hope you are having a fun, uh, awesome day. So this concludes part two of liquor habits. So we need to consider, so we all have to have um, ask ourselves the question, am I my brother's keeper? And if we say we are brother's keeper, then we need to be mindful of what we put in front of our brothers. Okay, you might not be a person that drink or person that smoke or a person that does any of that stuff, but are you one of those individuals that because it's a family member or a friend and they say, girl, can you get me or boy, can you get me da da da, whatever, whatever, and you go to the store and you buy it for them. So then that, that means that you are, are partaking of the evil that they are contributing into their life. So we need to be very mindful of being about God's business. So tomorrow, not tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday, which is the Sabbath, so not tomorrow, but Monday, we go into prohibition. Prohibition. Um, we're gonna go that into that too on Monday, on Monday, on Monday. So let's be very mindful, my sister, my brother, because God will hold each one of us responsible for our brother. Somebody might say, "Well, she's not my brother," you know, but. <laughs> oh, okay, or we could say my neighbor. We know we all are neighbors. Somebody close to you is your neighbor. It doesn't have to be your next door neighbor, but somebody close to you is a neighbor. Uh, somebody, you know, you might be passing somebody. It's a neighbor. It's a neighbor. And we all are brothers and sisters, my sister, my brother. So we need to make sure that we are helping one another along this Christian journey. So here is the song for today, or the hymn for today. Lord, I want to be a Christian. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. In my heart, in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be a Christian in my heart. Lord, I want to be more loving in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be more loving in my heart. In my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be more loving in my heart. Lord, I want to be more holy in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be more holy in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be more holy in my heart. Here's the last word. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart, in my heart, in my heart, in my heart. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. So that should be our prayer moment by moment. We are Christians in our heart. We want to be more loving, more holy, and we want to be like Jesus. Why? Because he is our example. He is the perfect example, and we all need to strive to be like Jesus. But but I mean, like I stated before, we, Christ, uh, we Christians, but nevertheless, we fall down, we fall down, we get back up, we confess our faults to one another, confess our sins only to God, my sister, my brother. But nevertheless, we need to remain faithful until the end. So get ready, get ready. Jesus is coming soon. So that's conclude our topic for today. Let us bow for prayer. The kind of gracious and Father, I thank you for this beautiful day, Father. I thank you for my brother that's sitting uh, next door to me, Father, in his, uh, in his truck. I ask you, Father, to be with him, uh, especially, Father, I don't know what he might be needing or what is lacking, Father, we ask you that you provide it. I also ask you to be with my sister, my brother, that stopped by today and the ones that are planning to stop by in the future. Continue to bless them today, my Father. We'll thank you, Father. We'll give you all the praise, honor, and glory that is due your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, amen. Okay, my sister, my brother, until uh, Monday, we're going to uh, pray. Um, Prohibition, uh, prohibition on Monday. Have a super awesome week. And remember, the Sabbath is a 24 hour cycle. So it'll be Friday, sundown, whatever that time is in your state or, or wherever you are, until Saturday, sundown. So that is holy hour, holy time. And we as individuals, even after the Sabbath is over, we need to be holy people 24 7. And as the Father continued to give us this bitter cup, as he continued to cleanse us, purifying us, because we have to be a pure, we have to be a sinless individual, 
in order to make it in. So let us continue to, as we drink the bitter cup that he has given us. And he has measured and he knows you can pass it. And how can you pass it? By surrendering your life to him. That's how we could pass the test. And so as he's giving us this bitter cup, and we want to put a little bit sweetener in there, so we could put patient endurance and prayer. Patient endurance and prayer. So put some pep into your step, my sister, my brother. Until Monday, be blessed and have a happy Sabbath. Take care.